Hey dear friends, this is Muhammad. Uh, today I want to show you how we can work with uh, JavaFX, uh, and I want to make uh, I want to make a alert box example. So let's get started. From here, we can make a JavaFX application. Uh, choose JavaFX application, and then click next. And I want to put the name alert okay alert example okay alert example i want to rename the package as the main package and the class as app and then click finish okay then you can click run to run the and build that code Okay, as you can see, this is the inbuilt code for, uh, which created by JavaFX Hello World application. I want to uh, first. I want to put here my website bernamed.me. Okay, and my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Uh, you youtube.com slash per naman okay please subscribe to my youtube channel so let's have a look this is the code which had been created so let's change the this hello world say hello world to let for example if we use this alert box if we delete a record from the database okay so I rename the text of the button to delete okay and then I want to use the lambda expression okay the lambda expression here this is the lambda expression I want to use so and here here uh, this is a class we created so I want to uh, make another class okay I want to make another class uh, for example alert okay uh, men dot alert dot alert okay Okay, main dot alert dot alert. This is the class I want to create. Okay, inside the package main dot alert. Uh, now I want to put here some uh, something. I want to make a method to confirm. For example, public void confirm. Okay, and I want to make this a static. St because I want to call this method without any without making any object directly with the class name so I want to put here some string okay and then uh, and then 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 and then okay some string so here for example title okay now here i want to make an stage stage is equal to new stage okay this is the stage i want to use you can make the model that i uh, right now i don't want to use the model and i want to change the in it, the model of my stage so you can call init function to change the modality and the modality by default is none but i want to choose the application model because if you choose this stage uh, when this gets open this uh, will be on the top of the parent stage okay so uh, we need to button for example button okay is equal to new button okay and this is okay button and also 
this is no button okay okay no so we need to import this from Java except control there's two button now we have both and then let's make an H box okay is equal to new H box because we we want I want to put this two button as horizontally inside this box okay the okay button and the no button okay so so now we need a scene to put the to put inside the stitch and take the layout inside itself scene is equal to new scene here you can put the box and you can also pass the weight and height for example weight is this and the height is this okay oh that just this okay and also you need to import the JavaFX scene from JavaFX that scene that scene okay now you have your stitch that set scene put the scene inside the stitch and then stitch dot show okay so now if I call this inside this all that can fair and put some string for example deletion record okay so I can make here put that state dot set title okay and the title this so now let's run our application oh yes that is nice okay but this as you can see this is the model modality okay I cannot click this because uh, we change the modality to the application model uh, when we close this then we can work with the parent so also I want to make this each box pretty by set spacing for example this value k okay, and also box that set alignment set node orientation no set alignment k okay, close that center now if I run my application again it will be looks like better oh yes that is really nice so as you can see that works nothing uh, I want I want F if the OK click a record should be delete from database if click no records should be uh, will not and uh, will not uh, should uh, should not delete from the database so that's uh, so mm, I assume that when the OK click OK button gets click uh, then this method should return a true value and if click uh, if the button no clicked uh, then the method should return false okay uh, now let's register our button to some event uh, which usually it is action event okay here I want to use again the lambda expression because it is Azure okay 
Now I till this that when from here you cannot return a true. Okay, because this is actually an anon anonymous class. Okay, and so you from anonymous class you cannot return value from the method. Okay, and instead of this, and instead of this, you make a variable, for example, um, private private boolean check for example okay now you can uh, check the variable is equal to here true it doesn't have access to the check variable because you're inside uh, an static method so you should make this static okay and then copy this and no and noise should be false okay and then return from the method and the written type also should be boolean because you return something from this method and then you need to return okay return check oh that's nice so let's have this confirmation box inside an F condition okay if the confirmation box confirm and then it return true then the record should be deleted for example uh, this current record has been deleted I'm DBK otherwise otherwise okay otherwise else if, if the confirm method don't return true then deletion then that till us deletion felt okay so now let's check this now if I click then I click K okay. they actually don't work so let's see what's the problem because because when we click this the function return to us okay to the color will return to the color okay so we can use instead of show show and with function show and with show and with as uh, you can see here as you can see here shows this stitch and waits for it to be hidden uh, this stitch is wait until it will hide in okay before returning to the color this method temporal blocks processing of the current event and it starts uh, an instant event loop to handle other events this method must be called on the fx application thread okay now let's check again if i click this the method will not return until until this sh uh, until this are not closed okay as you can see if i click here this will not work when this will work which this stage which this current stage closed okay for example okay dot close okay no close oh this stage dot close okay this stitch dot close okay and this also wait what's up okay this 
after this okay now let's run again if I click OK as you can see this this current record has been deleted from DB if I click no deletion failed oh that's work nice Congre congratulations okay that works nice so thank you for your watching and see you in the next lesson please subscribe to my channel goodbye